How's it going everyone? It's Liam Cattleson here and we're continuing with The Vampire Diaries with episode 4 which uh, the show has been a really really great impression on me so far and uh, yeah it got a bit heated with the last episode between uh, both brothers of course with Stefan feeling like there is a bit of humanity that resides within Damon especially with um, you know growing connectivity between Damon and Elena. Um, however, um, the former definitely uh, tried to reject that claim that Stefan had about the humanity uh, with the fact that he killed that teacher. So, yeah, um, it was really, really solid stuff, um, especially, you know, continuing the uh, development with both brothers as well as, uh, of course, with Elena's situation um, with, I, I guess, getting to know um, more, more, well, more so Damon in the last episode as uh, um, of course, her well, her, uh, I guess, relationship with Stefan continues to flourish. So, yeah. Um, but I'm excited to get into this episode. So, why don't we get into episode four of The Vampire Diaries? Let's go. From the streets of Mystic Falls with breaking news of another deadly animal attack. Oh, is this Tana? Terrorizing the citizens of Mystic Falls has claimed another victim, local high school student, Elena Gilbert. Oh! That forensic evidence will confirm... Wait, I'm dead? Vados, dude. Dick move. Oh right, and you're you just terrorizing dreams, isn't? <sighs> Sheesh. I'm sure that wasn't a dick move either, was it? A Beth's wedding ring? Originally it was great great grandma Mary's wedding ring. How much do you think this stuff is worth? You know, like on eBay. Wow, not nothing. Stuff is mom and dad. It's 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 it it's not I'm happening. Not giving it away. It's called a loan, Jeremy. Giving it away for a temporary amount of time. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Okay? Just a bit hungry. <laughs> I'm good. Sorry. Please take me. Oh, wow. You should come to the founder's party with me. Not if you're wearing that dress. <laughs> Blue it is, I guess. What's so special about this Bella girl? Edward's so wit. You gotta read the first book first. Is he reading Twilight? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that whole Mr. Tanner prediction thing has me freaked. Okay. And Damon's not dangerous. No, he just... No, he's just psychotic. With his brother. You know, like major deeper. There's a lot of issues in general. Party. Vicky Donovan. Do oh, he's trying to be say? smooth. Not no. working. It'll be stupid and lame. True. Well, It'll poor be Jeremy. Stupid and lame if you were there. It'll be less stupid and lame if you're not. You realize there. you had to ask. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> Not upset, Zach. What's going on? <clears throat> Having a family moment, Stefan. Spending some quality time. You okay? No. Poor Zach. <laughs> yep, he's got a secret stash. Zach's cooking. You've been growing it. It's just something that's been passed down through the generations. Uh, that's all gonna get wiped out. Related to vampires. Damn, would kill me if you knew that I had it. Oh yeah, I I don't doubt you that. Me. Know that they both dated her, and that's why they have issues. Yeah, they both dated her. Only she chose Damon, and that drove Stefan mad. So he did horrible things to try and break them up. Oh he no. Catherine. He filled her head with all these lies until finally it worked. I feel like that's exaggerated. That sounds like one person's side of the story, meaning Damon's. I just wanted you to know. I mean, you took it. If I go online, am I going to find it on eBay? Is that how you pay for your pot? No, Ooh. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So he did take it. I would never sell this, okay? Then why did you take it? Because it's supposed to be mine. Dad said it goes to the firstborn son. His father gave it to him, and now what? Oh. Night you dropped her off. I was waiting just inside. He was such a gentleman. Gave her a kiss on the cheek. And what she really wanted was... 
Oh well. Here's the history of repeating itself. Whoa! Hello! Interesting that we're getting a bit of. Oh. I admire your effort, Stefan. Pouring yourself a spike in the bottom. That was his favorite scotch. I'm sorry, I thought it would work. I wasn't counting on it. You knew it would fail. Did what I wanted. I lowered his guard. He won't expect me to try again so soon. Ah, touche. He knows his brother to a T. Still salty. Still salty. Due to the inaugural Founders Council celebration. Wow, look, it's the original guest registry. <gasps> Wait, does that include... Sheriff William Forbes, Mayor Benjamin Lockwood. Is that Man. Damon Salvatore? Oh! And Senior! Salvatore? Oh, no! The original Salvatore brothers. Your family. Yes, you do. I dance. <laughs> you, you go, dance. you go. Don't dance with me. Mm -mm. Can I just... He wants to feast in this drama. Oh, um... I don't really dance. Oh, sure he does. You should see him. <laughs> Angel said that too. And then, you know what happened. I don't dance. Yeah, just tell me if you see my mom. Hmm. <gasps> Wait. Time to see what he's gonna do here. Until the war, there was a, a battle here. The battle of Willow Caroline's the key. Right. The founders on the Confederacy side back then wanted them rounded up and burned alive. Sheesh. Stefan and Damon had someone they loved very much in that church. Catherine. And when they went to rescue them, they were shot, murdered in cold blood. Oh shit! Who was the first one just in the middle of it, Damon? I just, I hope you two can work it out. It would, it would be nice, you know, if if Damon had a change of heart. Maybe I don't know. So you want to dance? Maybe an NDE will 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 change his tune. Tyler and I were just saying good night. Blew it! Blew it! Damn! That's what you get when you bring the trash into the party. Wow. She's she's a bag of delights, isn't she? Chatting. Drink, Damon. <laughs> He's toying with him. <laughs> I know what this guy's done. Stefan, do you have another dance in you? For you. And when I heard you were staying at Mystic Falls, I thought maybe, well, maybe I could have a second, second chance, chance to make things right. Huh. Her name was Monica, wasn't it? Say something about yourself, anything. Otherwise, I'm oh, with nothing but what other people tell me. Shit, you shit. She can't let this done? mystery He's consume her. to get you to turn against me. Oh, boy. Well, then I guess it's working. Oh, boy. Well, how did you know that it was there? Because I put it there. When? A long time, but yeah, Tonight, there you go. Taking it back, thanks to you. Well, Holy shit. Never you mind. Well, you can't just steal it. It's not stealing if it's mine. Come on. Well, he... Let it out, and he's taking it back. Wow. Yes to lunch. Call me. Well, at least things panned out well for him, I guess. What's missing? Hey. Flames, the candles, why aren't they lit? Oh. There it is. That way to do this is just gonna come in and he's just gonna give up on life. I'm seriously wrong with you. You stay away from Caroline or I will go straight to her mother, the sheriff. Got it? Stay away from her. <laughs> oh, you busted. Oh, he's gonna think this is all. Oh, there's Stefan just brooding. 
I'm sorry. Trust is earned. I can't just magically hand it over. Here you go. Here's trust. Whoa! Oh no. I'm so sorry. I have to go. Yeah, this is not really helping any kinds of doubts she's currently having. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I knew I like your drink. But yeah, Damon's fucked now. Oh, the am yeah, the amber thingy, my bob. Protect Elena. To protect everyone. Oh, yes, Damon. boy. The headline reads: "Deadly Beast Captured." All is well in Mystic. Deadly Fame. Beast Captured. Boom. I can get it. You! Good. Oh, God! Are you sure? Five bodies all drained of blood. I'm certain. They're suspecting vampires. They oh, shit! They know! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! This spidey senses be tingling. Ugh! Damn. Damn, damn, but yeah, deadly beast captured should be very, very uh, interesting from here onwards to see what happens because yeah, but yeah, it seems like um yeah, like the well. The Lockwood, the Sheriff Lo uh, Logan, they know about um, the vampires and all of that. Um, and how it was essential, uh, how Elena needed to bring the watch and all of that. So, yeah, but they know, they know. Um, so, I'm intrigued to find out a bit more about that side of things, to be fair. But, yeah. But yeah, fui, very, very great stuff. Very good, very good. Well, I definitely do feel like with TVD, it's definitely got an interesting uh, as, I mean, over the course of the, you know, past three episodes, there has been a growing intrigue, but this episode definitely has uh, an added layer to things. I mean, not just, of course, does Stefan now have Damon as a prisoner, uh, surrounded by kryptonite, basically. Um, <laughs> but um, we saw everyone come together. We saw uh, the Sheriff, we saw the Lockwoods, we saw uh, Logan, um, and... Um, they seemingly are aware, of course, of the existence of vampires. Um, and not just that, though, but um, I see with their frustration of the fact that Elena did not bring the watch. I definitely do feel like with the uh, with also the knowledge of um, them keeping tabs on, OK, bodies dropping, being drained of blood and all of that. They know they are aware of the well, they were aware previously. It was just, okay, we can't... It, it, it's 100% confirmed at this point. I mean, we could just make assumptions that vampires were back, but now, you know, another body has uh, come on by, drained of blood. We're not fooling ourselves, so yeah. But I do have a feeling with... All of these items, they act as a weapon, or, or they will act as, like, I don't know, a weapon um, altogether against vampire kind. So, um, and, and you know, with the frustration of, of the watch, you know, Jeremy might have just in, inadvertently saved um, Stefan, and I guess Damon. But I do feel like they are, uh, they act as, um, um, I don't know, components uh, for uh, altogether a weapon to, I don't know, deal with the vampires. If they already have their suspicions and they want they want these items, they 
act as some kind of uh i don't know um they they will act as some kind of disintegration ray or whatever to anything to just deal with the vampires so yeah um because um with them saying they're back and all of that i'm assuming it would uh, like if they are if they do act as uh, a weapon against the vampires they would have been utilized to deal with the vampires a long time ago and then now they're back it's like okay we we need them if we're if 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 these bodies are coming like we we need these components together um especially if our suspicions of vampires being back are valid um so yeah, but, um, yeah, um, I do wonder what that, um, um, gem that Damon took was for, because, of course, he was, I guess, borrowing it back, so, um, I'm not sure if that, uh, like, whereas the, you know, the watch and, I guess, all the other items act potentially as some kind of weapon against the vampires, I'm assuming that the amber might be something that will aid the vampires, maybe give them soup like um, immunity or whatever. So yeah, um, but we'll just have to wait and see because there is a lot of intrigue going on in terms of like uh, now that we've got this group all together who know about the vampires who who are acting like I guess as the protectors and all of that. Um, so yeah. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. It's definitely spicing up, though, like, in regards to the plot overall, um, with this group, with, uh, the need for these items. Um, and now that Damon has been locked in captivity, uh, I mean, he's gonna find a way out. Probably Caroline, I would say, like, something's gonna happen in regards to her, like, her... I guess earning a second chance in regards to Damon, because Damon was ready to just totally be done with her. Um, and then, of course, as I had anticipated, Stefan um, spiked Caroline's drink. in Because what worked really, really well was, of course, we had Stefan, like, we had Damon being very, very anxious. No, you spiked my drink. And it's like, yeah, I, I knew, it, see, I knew you would do that. And then, of course, he gets to Caroline and it was completely unexpected when... Um, uh, he decided to take a snack out of Caroline and then just fell to his knee. So I feel like Caroline's de like with him being locked in in captivity. I do feel like Caroline's going to earn a second chance, and she's going to you know uh, being uh, Damon's um, good graces, I guess. So yeah, but um, it will be very very um, interesting. Um, it will be very, very interesting to see where things uh, go about in in terms of, um, you know, everything for, uh, you know, the plot of the Vampire's Diaries. Because it's definitely spicing up. But we did get a bit of um, interesting background as well in regards to the brothers. Because, of course, they read the uh, invite sheet and uh, both their names. And obviously it was them from a very long time ago. Um but of course, um, they're not going to tell Elena, oh yeah, you found us out, we're vampires. So uh, yeah, it was very interesting how we uh, got a bit of information in regards to uh, what happened to them about uh, the battle uh, of uh, 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 it, of what was happening around uh, Mystic Falls and um, um, how there was this, how both of them tried to save this woman, aka Catherine, um, and uh, seemingly that's where they met their demise. So um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like we're gonna see things play out. Uh, like there's a lot of interesting, like especially with the fact that they are like, um, you know, brothers and uh, uh, vampires as well. There is a lot of potential to explore their backstory. Um, as well as what happened uh, in the Battle at Mystic Falls with how they tried to save uh, Catherine. Um, so, yeah. Um, did I say Caroline before? No. Well, you you get the idea. We know it was Catherine. Um, but, yeah. Uh, obviously, um, yeah, there is that situation in regards to both brothers uh, tried to save Catherine. Both died. There you go. So... Um, 
It could be a, di- you know, it could be a different woman, though. Uh, but no, uh, we we can put two and two together. And of course, they like when they speak of Catherine to Elena, you know, Elena is going to think, especially with the whole um, fact that she doesn't know they're vampires yet. She's going to think, oh, this was something from a few years ago when obviously it was like, what, a few um, hundred and odd decades ago. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. But it was very interesting learning uh, quite a bit more in regards to um, not just, of course, the brothers' history, um, seemingly, but also just, like I said, it just in general, seeing all of these uh, people come together and all of that. So um, it was very, very important to for us to get a bit of an idea about these, um, I guess, newer characters, these parents of um, established characters, parents of Tyler, parents of, of well, the mother of Caroline. Um, because it seems like they're going to play in, uh, in terms, uh, they're going to have some importance um, in regards to... Um, you know, where things are going to go in terms of the future, in terms of any kind of detrimental effects to the vampires. So, yeah, uh, that's my two, that's my two cents on things in regards to how they need um, they need the watch. Uh, there, there is this need for for Logan, for example, he he can get to the watch. So it obviously bears importance in relation to the vampires. So, um and exp- and and judging by their concerned expressions, I don't think it's anything to aid. So, like I said, I think it's some kind of like they all act as a weapon against them. So, there you go. Um, but yeah, uh, it was really really great stuff though. Um, obviously there was a bit of tension going around with Stefan and uh, Elena, especially with the secrecy. It's going to be a bit difficult, of course, uh, as time goes on, especially with you know hiding this whole vampire situation uh, from Elena. It, there, there's going to be some tensions rising, and uh, obviously with the whole Catherine situation, that's just gonna that's just that's. Well, to be fair, that's probably going to do a lot more damage than the whole vampire situation because obviously we're seeing the side effects um, when they were getting intimate and he has to like shy away because he doesn't want to see the decayed look. Uh, he doesn't want her to see the decayed the Kate look so yeah but obviously with Damon and and how he's going about things and um their history with Catherine yeah there, there's gonna be a, a quite a bit of um there's gonna be quite a bit of added tension but I think after um you know what she discovered with Caroline yeah I, I feel like she, um she can I don't know kind of close the book on that although you know in her perspective Stefan's still acting a bit, so, um, yeah, but, no, this was just very, very interesting, um, just all around, and, uh, yeah, I just thought it was just very, very interesting, um, uh, to potentially add further in terms of, like, of course, the uh, party, which was obviously a nice get-together in regards to uh, having Tyler's parents and all of that to try to, uh, well, well, I would say affirm their suspicions that the vampires are back, but also try to get um, something that might prove to be a detrimental impact to them. And uh, not just that, though, but... Um, it worked well for Stefan in terms of getting, of, of, of leveling, the, well, I wouldn't say specifically leveling the playing field with Damon, because obviously we know that Damon's a bit stronger, especially with his um, feeding on the humans um, thing that he has compared to Stefan, who doesn't go that way. But he has knocked him down a peg, so yeah, um, it is. It is really, really. Um, it, it is a really, really op- um, opportunistic moment uh, for for, um, for Stefan. So until, like I said, Caroline's probably going to break him out. So yeah. But uh, no. Overall, really enjoying how things are getting more and more spicier with this show. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm intrigued to see what where things are going to go from here onwards. Now that um, you know we have all of these. Um, well, the parents of these established characters uh, who know about the vampires, like, it will be very interesting to follow their story as well as what's going to happen with uh, Damon now that Stefan has him locked up. So, 
awesome stuff. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time.